So I wanted to show you some rigs we've done in the car, some comparisons here. What we've got rigged up in this visor here is we've got a 4018 from DPA, which is really nice. It's got it's on this suspension arm. The cable just comes out the right side like that, and that just goes down. And this this actual arm is held in place. What we've done is we've put a little strap around the whole of the uh, the whole of the visor here, and that can hold this down without any tape. But also there's a little bit of a clip there, which is helpful. <laughs> so in this case, it's quite useful to have something to hold this down. But this is quite nice to have to have this thing on a bit of suspension here. So we're going to have a listen to the 4018, and as a comparison, we've got a 6060 from DPA on a wire rig. And so this is one of the intended purpose of the wire rig. You wire that you get the cable of the wire around there, and then it's got this little slit here with the intention of it running straight down. So now I can put the wire rig here and the cable can just run straight down. And the idea is if I've got someone sat back, I can just adjust the wire and get the DPA just to where I kind of want it, say frame lines here, rather than maybe just sort of like hanging it off the top of a ceiling, you can really adjust it and point it. So if they suddenly, if I wanted it to get a bit more sideways, I could easily just kind of adjust it like that. So let's have a quick listen. I'll put my headphones on. Oh, and also <laughs> pop a pouch here. We're assuming this will be out of shot. That's uh, that's the popper pouch rig for this, and also for this mic, we've rigged the cable down. Could do a bit more tidying up in this cable. We're a bit in a rush, and we've actually put in a strap, a waist side strap here, and this strap for this is down here. So the transmitter is actually hidden around this body of the, um, the steering wheel here. So that's kind of cool. So right, let's have a listen. Shall we start with the the 6060? Okay. So this is this is the 6060 you've been hearing all this time. And, uh, and now let's just go over to the uh, 4018, the larger capsule. So that's a super cardioid. So yeah, super cardioid is in here like this. So yeah, two different sound microphones. I think this one here just sounds quite neat and tidy. It's quite a, quite a nice little uh, comparison to hear the difference between these two mics. Let's go. What we've done is we've set up a 4097 and a 4018. Um, so the super cardioid, a larger capsule cardioid, and then the gooseneck DPA in the car, basically in the same place as each other. And just to sort of hear what it sounds like. Can you hear me? Okay. That sounds pretty nice. Cool. My main concern is the, the bulkiness of the pack, yeah. uh, sticking the visor down. Uh, so I was saying earlier, I would probably actually run the cable down this way, somewhere down there. But it depends on the shot. If the shot's not going to see the visor, then, uh, then I probably wouldn't actually I'll probably just leave it up there. My general approach is keeping it small and light and having just a 4060 and putting a 4060 rig in and that's and then just having it just poking down from the visor and being able to just then move it quite quickly for people doing head turns this way or if they're looking this way I could just move a small mic quite quickly compared to moving a whole larger larger mic rig. The issue that I've got at the moment, if the camera was that side mm. and I was rigging down here, you'd see the cables yeah. this side. Yeah. Or I've just had a DPA cables running from the back over their heads and just being like this. This is always going to be like a safe area for a cable rather than having too much stuff on one side because you might see it for that side. So having ca ca cables run all the way down and then stuff in the boot. The 4097s are quite mm. good because they're but it's also like getting things to stick. Mm, yeah. It's always on mm. shiny new new cars. But the one thing I've done with, with sticking cables down is I do put gaffer tape, but I've got a, like a little box of safety pins with like little, you know, little tiny safety pins. And I will put a safety pin through the tape, like four bits of safety pins through the tape, and that will hold the tape on the ceiling. So long as the person with the action vehicle is okay with you putting a bit of safety pin <laughs> through the top material of their car then that will, hold, uh, that will hold them down. So I always keep like so a little grip box of safety pins. Uh, Depending for, on the car as well. Yeah. Seams and stuff, you can always tuck the cable into the actual kind of rubber lines of the car. Yeah.